Tokyo is toning down the excitement at the Olympics. No high fives, no cheering, and no alcohol at the games. Fans won't even be allowed to ask athletes for autographs. Organizers have unveiled a tough new restrictions for spectators as they strive to keep the event safe. The Olympics are set to begin in just 30 days, but controversy over holding them during the pandemic continues. Michio Ishida explains. Opposition towards the Tokyo Games is still strong among the general public. Opponents of the Games say COVID-19 has done enough damage to people's livelihood, and holding the Games will only further add to their burden. With one month left until the Olympic Games, COVID-19 situation is not improving in Tokyo. It's as more people are out and about. They're tired of staying home with the city in a state of emergency. Much of this year, they want to resume social activity and dine out. Medical workers are concerned of a resurgence of the coronavirus, possibly with a fifth wave with a more contagious Delta strain detected. With much of the country still under quasi emergency measures due to COVID 19, the Tokyo 2020 organizing committee's announcement this week that spectators will be allowed at Olympic venues during the Games has angered the public and healthcare workers. During a news conference in Tokyo on Wednesday, Tokyo 2020 Olympics Organizing Committee President Seiko Hashimoto revealed that drinking of alcohol at games venues will be banned as part of measures to ensure a safe event. Just as the city is entering the final stretch of the Games preparations, it was reported that Tokyo Governor Yuriko Koike has been hospitalized due to severe fatigue. Tokyo 2020's President Hashimoto said she was praying for Ms. Koike's recovery as soon as possible. コイケ知事が過労で入院されたと伺いましたが、1日も早い5回復を祈っておりますこれまでもコロナ対策東京2020開催準備にも大変な個人力をいただいてまいりますのでまずはしっかり回復に専念いただいてまた本大会に向けて